Hey guys, have you ever wondered why two people become successful and after going through tracks of setback, just one becomes even more successful than he was before the setback? Welcome back to my channel guys, if this is your first time watching, please hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you'll be the first to know when I post new videos and as you guys can see, I'm not alone today. I have with me a guest and his name is Chukwe Buka Paul and I create content on social media to motivate, inspire and educate about life and success. So you said you create content to motivate and inspire, so what made you go through that? What made you decide to start creating um, content that motivates and inspire people? Why didn't you just go into um, other niche like comedy and, <laughs> and the rest? Yeah, uh, okay, okay. First of all, I would say it actually started as something I wanted to do on social media just to educate undergraduates on the mistakes I made in my first year. So at the point, I realized that those little things I call, in fact, those things I call little are really not that little because when I post them on social media, people are like, wow, thank you very much. It's helped. So I thought about it. Why not stay consistent and do it? That was why I decided to inspire, motivate, and educate about life and success. That's, that is very, very amazing. And there's something, um, there's something you said before. You were talking about why, yeah. two, why um, two people become successful, successful and, then and one has a, a um, setback, and then the, the other person becomes even more um, successful than he was. So, yeah. so how come? So, that, like, tell us about that. Okay, the concept there is very simple, and I want to use an example to explain it. Let's say two, two, two individuals, they go out there, to, they start working, and one just goes out there to gamble, gets, gets the money, and the other one stays consistent doing what he knows how to do best. So at, at the long run, the, the guy working hard earns the money through the process. Now let's say the both of them face financial crisis. Let's use the COVID-19 as an example now. Then after the whole pandemic stuff, the body, both of them are very, very broke. Now the guy that went through process, it will be very easy for him to replicate because now the system is open hand and he knows how he can come in and use what he has. But the guy that gambled to get where he was, I think he needs a series of gamble and luck to get back Hello. to where he so, was. So I, I, th I think there is something, there is something I got from what you said, like how important the process is. So process is what differentiates those that made it through work. Yeah. Now it's, it's it's not necessarily hard work. It it could yeah. be hard work or smart work. work. Yeah. So um, process is what differentiates those that made it through gambling, through yeah. winning the lottery, and yeah. uh, those who made it through work. And work, yeah. there's something about um, those that make it through gambling. I yeah. like. I think it is about zero point zero 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 one of the of the population of people in the world yeah. and those that make it through work uh, through hard work or through smart work are like let me say like 80 yeah. percent but the problem we have is that yeah. the majority are okay. trying to make it through gambling through yeah. bets yeah. when the chances there are just for about 0 0.0000 yeah. percent and then the the, the 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 chances to make it through hard work yeah. or smart work the chances are very high but few people are there yeah okay um Let's take the gambling outside. You know there are people who work hard but they don't take note of the process. There are people who can spend years working from one company to another. That's why they say building a career but some people are not conscious about building a career. When you don't focus on building a career, you jump from work to work that doesn't even relate to your previous work and in the long run, you've not made any, you've not made any impact or achievement. So what you've gone through is not a process. I would say you've You've been existing. You've been <laughs> you've been working for money. Exactly. You were an accountant. Now you're a chef. Now you are okay. No, that's no that's not process. But when you walk through process, that's why um, maybe you spend five years in the company. You were the cashier. Next, you are now the accountant. Now you're coming up. You're coming up. That's a process. Now any company that goes through your profile will want to have you in. You now when we speak about gambling, people just think that's just the only place that. Um, nobody makes it without process but even in your work of life you might be there for years and same thing happens in school like 
some read take our time to read and understand while some just you know go through stuff go through stuff and on that same day yeah everybody might pass but if the exam gets cancelled yes you know those who went through the process <laughs> exactly those that went through um, those that went through the, through the process can yeah. always you know go back and go even back be and better be better but yeah. those that didn't go through the process will in fact yeah you'll find it very very difficult to catch up like it's, it's one thing that's important in all facets of life, yeah. be it business, be it academics, be it academics so career. different, you know, different areas. So, I, I, so what will you say about those who, those who skip process? Mm. Well, the only thing I can say about those who skip process is I just know that. Do you think they can last? Uh, no, uh, I don't know because yeah, yeah, it's like you're playing a gamble. You're out there when you get hit. You number one, your reaction shows that man, this guy didn't go through process. Yes. Like when you see a man going through hard time who is bankrupt, like he just knows that okay, when I when I head into this bank, get so 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 amount of loan due to my influence and how I can manage the money, he can multiply it because a man that has worked his way from a thousand to a million, a billion can actually do it over and over again. But one that was just they handed him the money for your take <laughs> to replicate it and come up to that level when he falls down would be a very big challenge to him. So there is, uh, is there is something there is something that um, Trump says. He said mm-hmm. his he said his father gave him a small loan. Loan, yeah. Of, is it ten million dollars or <laughs> small loan of the guy? Yeah, like what? what like a small loan of ten, 10 million, million dollars. But you, you know, there's 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 something like, there's something there again. Trump is not. He's used to the money. He's yeah. used to the amount of money. He's. I don't know. I don't know his background, but definitely he went to a nice school. His allowances and the money he has handled is equivalent to the money, because. Uh, when you talk about the rich, it's a bit different than someone who is coming from an entirely different background. Right. Yeah. So, so let me ask you this simple question now. Yeah. Between someone who was giving ten million dollars yeah. and someone who started from nothing, who will you love to learn from? Uh, <laughs> okay, I think I would like to learn from the man that started from nothing. Right. Reason being that he has so many experiences, so many stories to tell, the failures and everything. He can easily tell me, hey, don't go there, I once tried it and I lost my money. Hey, look at, look at, look at. But the guy that was offered uh, the money is like, okay, there's, there's this um, entrepreneur in South Africa. He said those who write business plan to get loans from the bank are not entrepreneurs, they're just business owners. And real entrepreneurs start from nothing. Scrap. Yeah. And he made mention of if you want to start a poultry farm, you should start selling eggs. Then from the eggs, you know your customer, then you own up a poultry farm. That's the process. Mm. But when you just get the money and boom, you just open the the whole poultry stuff, you might get knocked out of business when there's a flu or when whatever disease comes around or so. So that's the importance of process and I would always love to work with a man that started from scratch. Scratch. Likewise me, I'm all <laughs> are our first one who our first one who started from scratch. Who knows the rude events, who knows the do's and the don'ts. So thank you very much for coming Mr Chico Buka Paul. Chico Buka Paul. Yeah. So so you make um, content Yeah I create amazing content on social media and I think I'm more active on Facebook. So, so um, where can our what is your username on Facebook? Okay, my username on Facebook is Chukwebuka Paul Nguako. It should be written on the screen and then you get it. Yeah, I'll add that on the screen. So if you want to connect with him and if you want to learn more from him, I'll link his Facebook profile in the description below. So guys, if you loved it, if you, if you enjoyed this video, tell us what you've learned in the comments and we'll, you know, we'll take it from there. So thanks for watching and also thank you to my guest Mr. Paul and yeah. I hope he comes back later. <laughs> hey, I'm sure. Back. So thank you thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Share the video to your friends. Share it to all your platforms, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook and I will I'll appreciate that. See you in the next video. Okay, so I'm starting in five just just feel free, don't forget. Okay, so. um, I...
No, he's in okay. okay. the office. I want to ask something. He's recording. <laughs> <laughs> Back and go.